Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we will make this tulle angel Christmas ornament. Her skirt and her hat are made from a thrifted wedding veil. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. Today I'm going to be working on this um, cutting board surface just because I feel like um, my supplies are kind of sheer and might be difficult for you to see. I hope you're not distracted. Check your local charity shops right around Halloween. You might discover that the clothing that's put out for sale as a costume is actually vintage clothing. There are a lot of wedding gowns and some pretty special things are put out. One thing that's always out and very available and inexpensive is a wedding veil. This veil I got for $10. It's white tulle. This headband has some lace flowers and these flowers are not really any different than some that you would buy in the wedding aisle at your local Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joanne Fabrics or whatever you have where you live. These are not too hard to find, but it was just nice to find a bunch of them on this headband. And the thing that I really liked is the hem of the veil, the hem of the tulle, is this nice rolled hem. There's no, um, I don't think there's any line or wire or anything, fishing line, that's what I call it, any um, kind of a string or cord inside, but it's a little bit stiff, and I thought that would be fun to play with. So we'll start with a 20 millimeter head bead, and then this is the wide tool, it's nine inches wide, and about a half a yard of 1 16th inch satin ribbon. I'm going to make this about doubled over. Each piece is maybe 20 inches. So I'll do two 20 inch lengths of 9 inch wide tool. It doesn't have to be perfect and tie it off with this ribbon. So I'm tying it off in the center so that there are actually four lengths. And then I'm going to send the ends of the ribbon through her head from the bottom to the top, like this. The face is already on my angel, and of course you can find the instructions for the Rick Rack Ruby face in my Focus on Faces video. Now this is, this is important. Um, two of these lengths are going to be right in the front. So in other words, don't put them sideways, but more like front and back. And then I'm gonna slide it into her head and tie this off at the top. And then I'll just back it out a little bit, add some hot glue here, and I'm gonna make sure that I have front back, like this, front back, and we're off to a great start. This angel has arms. The arms are created with a nine inch length of white covered wire. This is in the, also in the bridal department. It comes like this. It's 18 inches long and I've cut it in half. Now I'm going to take about 12 inches of this 9 inch wide tool and put the, let's do it this way, put the wire inside and roll it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see why. For her hands, I'm tying an overhand knot in the center. So her hands will be sort of folded like that. And then for these ends, I'm gonna tie them in a little square knot. It seems a little awkward. And by the way, don't worry about the ends of the wire and where they're landing. This knot here in the end is going to fill out her chest, if that makes sense. I'll show you. Okay. 
So there's the knot. And I'm gonna trim that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want too much extra because that will pop out. And now I'm going to separate this into front and back and put the arms inside, pull them up above her head like this. And this knot right here is going to be inside in between to sort of fill in her chest and give her a little bit of a shape. This knot for her hand should be right in the center and that's looking good. So I'm gonna tie off her waist with a double strand of quilting thread. I'm just gonna wrap around her waist and tie it in the back. That looks good. Let's have a look. That looks good. Okay, before I move her hands down, I'm going to decorate her bodice with this gold trim. You can use any gold trim. Mine I've had for a long time. It's got a lot of kinks in it, but it still gets the job done. So I'm gonna start by gluing it in the back on one side. Actually, I don't need that much, so I think I'll cut it. Let's make it uh, seven inches. That looks about right. So I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of glue right here. Uh, you can also glue the ribbon, the cord. And then I'm going to go over her shoulder and then back across the front at an angle and then around her waist and back up around the opposite shoulder and then around the front of the waist and then I'm gonna cut it off and secure in the back. So the idea is that I have this trim going. It's an X in the front, an X in the back, and all the way around her waist like a belt. And now I'm going to secure the second end in the back center. Okay, here's how she looks. I've cut from the hem of my veil I cut a piece that is six inches wide and 24 inches long. The only reason that I, <laughs> that I chose that size is because I have a ruler that is six inches wide and 24 inches long. And you know what? It worked out perfectly. So I'm going to fold the ends together like this and seam up the short side. There's my seam. This will be the back center. I'm going to gather up the top edge. I'm leaving the wrong side on the outside. Hope that makes sense. I'm not turning it yet. And then I'm just going to go around the top edge about a quarter of an inch in from the raw edge. And it's, oh, it's very raggedy. And I'm just going to go all the way around. Now remember the right side is on the inside still. There we go. Okay, before I pull it too tightly, there's the back seam, right sides together. I'm gonna put it in like this. Now you'll notice that the tool inside is cream and then this, this outer skirt from the wedding veil is white. I really like that. So I'm going to secure this around her waist, just below the golden trim. And all the raw edges are right here. And remember the right side is on the inside. Now you can imagine I'm gonna flip this over in a second. So that's where we're going. Then I'm gonna wrap this to secure. And then I'll stitch through, just to make sure it's nice and tight there. And secure my thread in the back. I'll add a tiny bit of glue, just a smudge to hold those threads. And now when I fold this down, the right side is on the outside and you can see the lovely bell shape of this outer skirt and the inner um, narrower inside, which I think is just really sweet. 
So there's her dress. Here's her sleeves and her arms. And if you like, you can put something in her arms. I tried this, but it's just too big. <laughs> Um, but you know, she could hold smaller flowers or a little bell or anything you like. Now let's do her hair. I have my favorite yarn, which is a loopy mohair. It's very fine. So if you have a fine yarn like mine, you can see here, then we're going to do six wraps. I'm holding this in my left hand with these two fingers. I'm going to wrap these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna take this top piece and go all the way around, all the way around. Pick up the first piece and I'm gonna tie it off. And the instructions for my hair are in, I think it's called Ruby's Hair Technique. So if you don't, if you feel like, you know, you wanna slow down and Look at it more carefully. There is, I hope and I think this is, I have a video that's, it's a little bit, hmm, it's more careful, I guess. I have more description, but it's not hard. Hold this, one and two. See, I'm making a figure eight. Four and five and six. Always cut it longer than you think you need because it's just really awkward if it's too short. So then we'll tie it off in the center. And I have two bundles of hair. I always start with the back. So this one will be in the back. I'll spread some glue in a circle on the back of her head. And press the knot into the top behind the loop, behind the hanging loop. And then press the rest of this hair into the glue. Looks like that. It's covering about the back half of her head. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue to the side here. Look how pretty that skirt is with that hem. Now for the second bundle, I'm gonna put the glue right here in front of that knot, like that. And then press the knot, I mean the center of the hair bundle into that glue. And then I'm gonna twist and press into the side like that and then twist and press that looks good and the same thing over here i'll put a little glue on the side and twist and press now instead of a halo i like to use this flower it's just going to be perched a little bit off center on top of her head i think it just adds a little bit of whimsy which i always like but i've discovered that it's it's not going to work unless I actually poke a hole in the center and thread this through. So I think I'm gonna poke a hole right here. I look for an opening in the mesh so that it won't be, I don't know, it just makes it easier. And then thread the hanging loop through. Then I'm gonna decide exactly how I wanna shape this. Maybe like that, like a little lace hat kind of. And I squeezed out some glue and then I'm pressing that onto the top of her head. Now inside here is a stem and I don't wanna take it apart because I feel like all of this will fall out. So I'm gonna add some glue right here and then glue this down. I don't want it to come too low. I don't want it to shade her face. I just want it to be just adding a little bit of fun. That looks super cute. I also like that the flower from the veil and the hem of the veil are both incorporated into the same project. Now here you can see how it would be fun to add something into her hands. I don't want her to look like a bride. I want her to look like an angel. So I'm resisting the urge <laughs> to put a bunch of flowers or something in her hands, but of course you could. Now let's do the wings. For the wings, I wanted to use this other kind, this netting. Okay, so this instead of tool is a coarser sort of a net. 
I cut about 12 inches and I'm gonna gather with a needle and thread, I'm gonna gather right down the center. I'm sort of finger pressing the center so that it'll help me keep my eye on the where I'm stitching. First, I'll secure my thread on the end, just kind of looping through to get started, and then just in and out, in and out with a running stitch. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Then I think I'll just wrap a few times around the center and then secure my thread. Looks like this. And see, just because it's a little bit of a different texture from the rest of her dress, it, it definitely looks like something special because these are her wings. All right, I'm gonna squeeze out some hot glue right here and press this into the center of her back. That's right over that gold cord. She looks good. Now you can imagine how much fun you could have with this. You could do a different color, like a little pink wing, and like I say, put something in her hands or you know, a contrast underneath. So if you wanted white on the outside, you could put lavender or blue on the inside and you could have a whole lot of fun with this. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.